Hello mate and welcome back to Let's Code 4, this time it's personal. In this episode we're going to look at an alternative way of doing what we achieved in the last episode. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting the notification icon, that really helps me out. And of course an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons, your names will run across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. So let's jump into this then. If you remember, what we did in the last episode is we searched through a directory to see if our files, in fact, we searched through all of our files to see if any of them were contained within the directory that we were looking for. And if they did, then we would append that to a list, which is fine, but we can actually make our system a little bit more flexible. So that's what we're gonna do in this one. So what you can see here in our past clickies function is we go through all of the list of files in RemPy and we search for any that begin with UI forward slash buttons, which is great. There's nothing wrong with doing that way at all. It works just fine and it functions exactly as we want to, but we can make it a little bit more flexible if we wanted to as well. And the easiest way of doing that is by changing this starts with and we're going to just simply go with if and let's just say uh, UI button is going to be in our title so we're going to pop that into says quotation marks there and then we're going to say if that is contained in Q then we're going to append it to the list so now we're not searching our directory we're just looking for a file that has this in it UI button and all we're going to do is we're going to rename our file so they start with UI button underscore bear with me for this one so what we've done now is we've actually removed the need to remove this 11 characters at the beginning so all we're going to do instead is we're going to put zero there in fact we don't even need to put zero there we can just go with that so x equals q so we're still removing the file extension but now what we're going to do is we're going to split our file name by this and we're going to actually increment these by one and I'll explain why in a moment. So that's going to be one, that's going to be three, and that's going to be six. And then we're going to say five. So every time we reference the file words, we need to increment it by one. So we're going to go six there, six there, six there, one there two there, three there, four, five, and six. Now we're going to save it. Now I'll explain what we've done. We are going to begin our file name for all of our UI button icons with this UI button underscore. What we've done, what we're doing by that is we're removing the needs to search a specific directory. We could now put UI buttons in any folder we so choose. And what we're doing is we're splitting our file name simply before, same as before, with a with using the underscore as the as the uh, image, the thing that we're going to split it by. In fact, it's not going to be underscore. It's going to be a simple minus sign. And now all we have to do is ignore the first segment of the file name, which is going to include the file extension and the UI button. And everything after that is going to be appended to our clickies file names, simple as before. So if we load our game and we've got our code saved in there, as you can see, it's still functioning exactly as it was intended. But the beauty is now I don't necessarily have to put that file in that folder. As long as I input UI button and then minus we aren't we don't have to include it in this because we're removing it using our X split statement same as before but as long as we begin our file name with this Rempi will now include it in our list no matter where in our game directory structure we have it which makes life a little bit easier in terms of organization because we can maybe separate our buttons out into rooms so that we don't just have a, a folder full of meaningless PNG files. It just means that we can be a little bit more flexible in the way that we do this. Seems overly simple, but it really is that simple. All we have to do is change the way we search for the file and increment 
all of the file words references by one because the first one is now taken up by this statement and then remember that we no longer need to remove 11 characters from the beginning of our file name which was originally our file extension because now we're removing that simply with the explit statement as well so again not necessarily simpler in every case but certainly simpler in this one and that means that we now know two techniques of comparing or searching for files and again we don't need to do any extra coding to define this list all we have to do is name our files correctly and then we have to create a label for it otherwise it'll just be an empty icon on the screen that doesn't do anything when we click on it it'll only actually do anything once we have a label created for it but the point is is that we've made our engine very very adaptable to creating new content minimizing the amount of repetition in code that we have to create ourselves so now we've got a virtually completed game engine the challenge to you guys is to create a game using this framework that we've made here a nice stat management game really simple and the framework is incredibly powerful it's going to allow you to do an awful lot of different bits and pieces so my challenge to you is do the best you can and then if you have created something by all means email me let me have a look at it show me what you've done and then perhaps if you have created something that i'm genuinely impressed by i might even showcase it on the channel obviously that doesn't apply to adult content because we don't do that on youtube but if you do create some awesome stuff feel free to let me know and have a look because i'd love to see what you do but thanks very much for watching that guys i hope you found that one useful there's only one more episode left in this let's code season and then that's it so i hope you found the whole season very interesting and useful if not well, well there you go uh, let me know what you think in the comments below either way and i will see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye